We've seen the increased growth year on year and I think we've done that on the back of the infrastructure and on the back of people not being able to f sustain their infrastructure within Europe. So it's, it's, been, it's been a challenging period but a, a prosperous period for us. Well, I think during the downturn, all companies had to look at their, the level of efficiencies they were having in their operations. I think what we've managed to do is to look at our operations from the, from the, the bottom up, and we've actually driven, had to drive more efficiencies in. Our client base, clearly, during the recession, are looking for more cost-effective solutions, and we've managed to deliver that through a number of you know, IT, spoke, spoke, uh, bespoke solutions, and also looking at the efficiency and the type of operation we're providing. Well, over the last period, we have a massive infrastructure, uh, both on land and ground services in Ireland and the UK. So what we've been doing, clearly, is doing small acquisitions, uh, strategic alliance and mergers with other operators in the region. And they're really leveraging off the back of the infrastructure we have. So we're seeing consistent growth on that and we're going to continue to basically grow in that manner, you know, basically looking at downturns that other people are affecting and consuming that down, you know, regional players into our market. Well, Holland has grown very strong for us. Um, I think we're looking in Germany is growing quite quickly again. So, you know, I think Holland and Germany today are two key areas where we're seeing good growth and we're going to continue to see growth a little bit faster than the rest of Europe. I think there's a lot of synergy. We had a very strong brand in Europe. It was more of a transition of brand rather than trying to create brand awareness. I think a lot of our clients at the time of the acquisition were very aware of Aramex and their global capabilities. What we're doing now is leveraging off the brand and the strength of Aramex globally. Uh, our clients are very happy to see that we're an international organization and we've improved technologies and we, you know, there's a lot of benefits from having a single brand and that's in consistent rollout. Uh, we've, mo we've rebranded in most of our European regions and the rest of the branding will be complete in 2010. Well, I think what we've managed to do is we have a very comprehensive service offering in all our regions and a lot of all of our clients today are looking at you know, a one-stop shop provider. Notwithstanding that everybody doesn't use all services, but we now can go to all our clients with bespoke solutions for their type of business, and we tend to be tailor-making solutions for clients consistently. We've just got accredited with the ISO uh, Environmental uh, in all our offices in Europe this year, so I think that's an important step. It's a, it's a, it's a key issue in Europe, and I think particularly in a mature market, it's, it's not just a plus, it's a must do going forward. So we're seeing that this is a demand on our portfolio that when we go to a client, they want to make sure that we are sustainable in our delivery of the service.